Hi, welcome to Doodle Mania with Greg. I'm Greg and we're going to be doing some drawings today. So pull up your, some paper and pull up some of your favorite drawing tools and we're going to make some pictures. Are you ready? Let's draw some puppies and some dogs for Doodle Mania today. All right, um, I'm gonna draw green dogs, but if you've got a red crayon that you prefer or if you've got a blue pencil that you like better, you pick it. All right. Um, I'm also, I'm, I'm going to combine this. We're not just going to do a dog. We're going to do lots of dogs. So, uh, you can start off with a heart and that's going to be our dog's nose. And then you kind of draw an upside down heart that touches right there. And a couple of eyes and some floppy ears and a tongue. That's an easy way to draw a dog. And then you can put in some details put some, uh, with some hair and some fur and some silly stuff like he's been out running outside, you know, all kind of fun things. Uh, but that's not the only kind of dog that you can draw. I know that doing our doodle mania here at the hospital, we've done, I, I had somebody show me this one. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if I can actually remember how this works. Um, No, it's too many feet. No, that's, that's great. All right. So paw, 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 and dog. All right. I'm not good at that, but I bet you if you draw six circles in a row like that and start working it out, you can come up with some pretty neat dog ideas because that's just a fast and easy way to draw some dogs. Uh, another thing is, what if you got a little Scotty dog, which I always think of as being flat on top, and furry down below. Little dust mop. And if you keep all the shadows for your little Scotty dog across the bottom and give him some grass to stand on, he looks pretty cool. Um, I myself have a German Shepherd at my house. And he's a great big dog with a pointy nose. So if we draw a big pointy nose, fill in a dark nose at the end and then give him some dots there and a couple of friendly eyes and some pointy up ears which were hilarious when he was little because German Shepherds are born with floppy ears and they start standing up when they're about six weeks old. It's, it's funny. And then we draw a smile and some pointy teeth and he's got a really furry neck with his collar. Collars are easy. You draw a little circle for the little tags that they get, and then you just draw another line next to the fur, and you got a collar. You didn't have to do anything tricky. You can put some dots on it for holes in the collar if you want. Uh, hairy back, hairy tail, long legs on a German Shepherd. And because German Shepherds have this neat pattern on them, you can do a big old spot on their back. You got a German Shepherd. Uh, puppies are good. You know how you can do puppies? Instead of drawing little bitty dots for eyes, draw great big dots and leave a white dot in them. And then you do a cute little nose. You do a cute little mouth. A cute little tongue sticking out. And you do big goofy ears. And if you draw a little teeny tiny body with a great big head, people look at it and go, oh, it's a puppy. There's, your, there's the trick. This is just drawing great big heads, little teeny bodies, makes it look more like a puppy. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Um, there's big old droopy dogs with droopy mouths and droopy ears. Those are always fun. If all of your lines sort of droop and hang and are sloppy, You wind up growing a bloodhound. They're fun. Uh, and every time you get done with your draw, with your dog drawing, if you put a little shadow down at his feet, it makes it look like he's actually standing on something and not just floating on your paper. So when you sit down to draw your dogs, you got lots and lots and lots of sketches. Once you look at this and go, oh, I like this sketch best. That's when you take your sketches and you put them off to one side and you go, aha. I'm going to draw a puppy and the sketch was my practice. So now I'm going to make the eyes a little bit smaller than I did there 
And I'm gonna shorten his nose because I'm looking at my sketch and I'm going, oh, I wish I had shortened the nose. Well, now that's what you're doing. And you're gonna make his head bigger and you're gonna make his ears floppier. So the sketch turn, turns out to be just for you to practice. And that gives you something to take to the next piece of paper and do your finished drawing that you then take to mom and say, put this on the refrigerator because I am an artist and the refrigerator is my studio.